but this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my instructions deep within them. I will write them on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, You should know the Lord, for everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already, says the Lord, and I will forgive their wickedness, and I will never again remember their sins. That is the prophecy of the return of the Holy Spirit. The Bible is living, breathing, speaking to us today. If you confuse religion for relationship, you will allow history lessons and hermeneutics to get in the way of your salvation. This Bible is not a history lesson. It's a spiritual lesson. What happened thousands of years ago is irrelevant. God is the same yesterday as he is today. You need to focus on today, on living today. What happened yesterday doesn't matter. Your salvation is what matters. Take the lessons from religion, from your indoctrination, and then in this day and age, you must spiritually mature. If you would like to receive the promise of the new covenant, you must make the word of God your pastor. The word of God is Jesus Christ. The word of God is God himself. The writing in there is not historical. It is spiritual. It was inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it is for those who have the ears of the Spirit and the eyes of the Spirit, who look at the text and realize it's talking to you. What religion does and what a pastor does, what churches do is they preach to the masses. When it's time for you to grow up and spiritually mature, you will realize when you put Jesus first, Jesus wants to preach to you directly. He doesn't care about your buddies. He doesn't care about your family members. He wants to get to you because every man is responsible for their own salvation. You can't take your kids with you. You can't drag your wife with you. You can't take mommy and daddy with you. They got to do that themselves. You got to do it yourself. That's the word of God truth. The only way to receive the promise of the new covenant is if you do the work. You said the sinner's prayer. Awesome. You were baptized in the river at church. Awesome. Now it's time for you to go forward. If you want the promise, you don't get anything by doing those ritualistic dogmatic activities. It's nice. It shows your family and your friends that you want to take this commitment serious. But then when you actually want to take the commitment seriously, you will. You will read the word of God as living and breathing today. It's talking to you now, not yesterday. This is prophecy for what happens when you are born again, born of the spirit after you've went through the work. And the work is doing God's will. What is God's will? That you sanctify your heart, learn self-control of your emotions, and stop acting out on animalistic behavior. You have to lay that down at the altar of the Most High God. That's if you want to continue and get the promise. If you want to stay stuck in your ways, the way the world is, you won't do any work. And you won't grow, and you won't mature, and neither will your family, neither will your kids. It will be a never-ending generational curse of cycles that we are currently stuck in now. It's time for you to make the move up the mountain if you'd like to get that promise of the new covenant where Jesus Christ, if you make the commitment for him to be your pastor, if you make the commitment to put the word of God first over everything else, if you make the commitment to clothe yourself in the wedding garments of peace, kindness, goodness, at all times, not just on Sundays, but all times. That means you can't change your clothes on Sundays to the shirt of rage, bitterness, some pants of murmuring, gossiping about others. No, you have to take up your cross daily and keep those clothes on that you had on on Sunday where you're treating everybody awesomely, nice. You can't be a fake if you want the promise. You have to be true all the way through. And that takes work. All the triggers that you've had since, since you were a child because people haven't loved you correctly and you haven't learned how to treat other people correctly, you have to go through the word of God you have to ask Jesus for help, and you have to believe that he exists. If you don't believe in that, you're going to be stuck. That's where religion is now stuck. That's where the majority of the world is at now, stuck, because they don't actually believe Jesus Christ could instruct you in the word of God. If you don't believe, you won't receive. And when you believe enough, and you've put in the work enough to fix your out-of-control emotions and out-of-control lusting and animalistic behaviors, when you've decided to follow Jesus sincerely and you have done the work, 
then God will honor your faith by giving you the new covenant promise, which is the baptism of the Holy Spirit fire of Jesus Christ. Your veil will be removed. You will see the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And then you will receive the peace that surpasses all human understanding that will make all the work that you had to do worth it. If you don't want to do the work, that's fine. The Word of God says some people just are destined not to want to do any work. But this message here is for people that are stuck, that are feeling miserable, depressed, anxious, and they're looking for the true way to peace. Well, this is the way. You have to do the work. No spiritual pain, no spiritual gain. That is the way to the kingdom of heaven.